Uh, go to line one. <clears throat> These are the kinds of, this is really, a, a, it, as a matter of fact, it, as an exercise, let's imagine you're doing one for yourself today. Let's just imagine that. Now, as we fill it out, you might say, well, what did you mean by that? And now you have a better sense of what the anxieties are of those who fill them out. When we get done, we can collect them and tear them up. It, we're not holding anybody to anything. In fact, when I see a patient that is very anxious about this, I don't know if I want to do it. I don't know if I want to do that. This is what I tell them. Let's fill it out today. If you don't like that decision by the end of the day, just tear it up and there's no problem. If you decide something differently in here, we can change it. It's not like you fill it out, it gets etched in like the, like the, like the tablets that came down from <laughs> with Moses. It's, the, it's not etched. It, it's changeable. It's, it's portable. It moves with them, okay? Number one, when are we doing it? It is this day or is it another day? I'll even say to them, it says the power of attorney made this day. I said, if you don't want that to be this day, we can do this tomorrow. We can fill out the paperwork and post date or, or predate it or post date it or whatever. Um, whatever makes them comfortable to continue on is what we do, okay? When it has principal on there on the line right below, it goes I and this is name and address of the principal. For purposes of, of this thing, it's, it, it's patient. If the person who walks in from the street, yeah. So, uh, so far what we've done is we stated a day. We've given the full name and the address as best. It doesn't matter if they change their address later on. That's easily documented. We don't have to go back and refill out a form. Uh, we, that patient has named an agent that will act on their behalf, okay? The next part is something I don't often talk about I sometimes do. It depends on what the situation is. If there's great anxiety about filling that form out, I will not necessarily ask them about organs. If I think that they're in a position where they can hear what I'm saying and they're not in great pain and so on, I will then bring that up. Um, I hope